How can a little insect live hidden away for 17 long years? Then one warm evening, millions of cicadas burst forth, filling the air with their deafening chorus. But why do these mysterious creatures spend nearly two decades in hiding, only to live just a few weeks above ground? Stick around to uncover the mind-boggling mystery behind the 17-year cicadas and the surprising secrets they hold. And by the end, you'll discover the jaw-dropping reason they time their emergence so precisely. Ready to dive in? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, gather around. Prepare to embark on a fascinating journey through time, deep into the secret world of the 17-year cicadas. These elusive insects lead one of the most peculiar lives in the animal kingdom. And today, we're going to unravel their enigmatic existence. So let's dig in, pun intended. Meet the 17-year cicadas, a group of periodical cicadas with the longest known insect life cycle. Unlike their annual cousins, these cicadas are on a strict 17-year schedule. Picture this, a tiny nymph hatches from its egg and immediately burrows underground. For 17 years, it stays hidden, feeding on the sap from tree roots. But don't think of them as dormant. They're busy bees, or rather nymphs, tunneling and growing beneath the surface. But how do these cicadas know when to emerge? The secret lies in the temperature of the soil. When the ground about eight inches deep hits 64 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 18 degrees Celsius for our metric friends, the cicadas get the signal. It's showtime. This temperature-based trigger means cicadas in different states emerge at slightly different times, depending on when their local soil warms up. Now let's fast forward to that magical 17th year. Imagine the scene, it's a warm evening, the soil has reached the perfect temperature and suddenly millions of cicadas claw their way to the surface. But hold on, they're not quite ready to dazzle us yet. These cicadas emerge as nymphs, still lacking their iconic wings and loud voices. They must molt one final time, shedding their old exoskeletons and revealing their shiny winged adult forms. Once their new exoskeletons harden, the cicadas take to the trees. And this is where the real party starts. The males begin their famous mating calls, creating a symphony that's impossible to ignore. It's a cacophony of sound that can reach up to 100 decibels. That's as loud as a chainsaw. Their song is a call to the ladies, a serenade designed to attract a mate. But why such a racket? The loud calls serve not only to attract females, but also to overwhelm predators. This phenomenon, known as predator satiation, ensures that even if many cicadas are eaten, plenty will survive to continue the species. It's a brilliant survival strategy that has stood the test of time. Now you might be wondering, how do cicadas keep track of time underground? Scientists believe they use environmental cues, particularly changes in the sap they feed on from tree roots. As trees go through their seasonal cycles, shedding and regrowing leaves, the composition of their sap changes. These subtle shifts provide the cicadas with a calendar of sorts, helping them count the years. On the 17th iteration of these seasonal cycles, the cicadas know it's time to emerge. Why do cicadas spend so long underground? The answer lies in their survival strategy. By emerging only every 17 years, they make it hard for predators to rely on them as a regular food source. And when they do emerge, they do so in such vast numbers that predators can't possibly eat them all. This strategy called prey satiation ensures that enough cicadas survive to reproduce. Predators such as birds, mammals, and even fish feast on these insects during their brief time above ground but fear not for the cicadas, nature has equipped them with safety in numbers. Imagine a buffet so grand that no predator can make a significant dent in the population. That's the cicada survival game. Periodical cicadas are divided into broods, each with its own emergence schedule and geographic range. In the United States, there are three broods of 13-year cicadas and 12 broods of 17-year cicadas. Occasionally, these broods overlap, creating a spectacular natural event. But don't worry about being overwhelmed by swarms. These overlaps are geographically limited. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, the grand finale of the cicada life cycle. After a whirlwind few weeks of singing, mating, and laying eggs, the adult cicada's time comes to an end. The females lay their eggs in tree branches, and soon after, both males and females die. Their bodies litter the ground, providing a nutrient-rich feast for other animals and enriching the soil. But the story doesn't end there. From the eggs laid in the branches, tiny nymphs hatch and drop to the ground, 
burrowing into the soil to begin their 17-year wait. The cycle starts anew, a never-ending loop of life and rebirth. So why do some cicadas appear only every 17 years? It's a finely tuned survival strategy, honed over millennia. By synchronizing their emergence and overwhelming predators, cicadas ensure their continued existence. Their lives, though mostly hidden, are a testament to the wonders of nature and the intricate dance of life. As we bid farewell to these fascinating insects, let's take a moment to marvel at the intricacies of nature. The 17-year cicadas remind us that even the most seemingly insignificant creatures play vital roles in our ecosystem. They also teach us patience, resilience, and the beauty of life cycles. Hey, before you go, support our channel by hitting the subscribe button and sharing this video with your friends. What do you think about the incredible life of the 17-year cicadas? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, nature always has more mysteries waiting to be uncovered. Stay curious, stay engaged, and until next time, keep exploring.